You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Welcome back to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, where we are showing the coolest brands and gifts along with featuring movers and makers. I'm your host, Lenore, and today's episode is brought to you by Refining Clean, a unique hand sanitizer by Health First Direct. You won't find a better pedigree of hand sanitizer anywhere else. And our guest today has inspired millions of people through his speaking engagements, his best-selling books, and his award-winning films. David McNally, the author of Even Eagles Need a Push, The Eagle's Secret, Be Your Own Brand, and his latest book, Mark of an Eagle, How Your Life Changes the World, released in 2017, just became available as an audible version. It's all about discovering your purpose and leaving your mark on this world. So David McNally, welcome to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Wow, good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you for sending us your latest book, which is Mark of an Eagle, How Your Life Changes the World. Now, what really inspired the title and really the whole story behind this book of yours? Well, it was inspired by the fact that I've been in the field of uh, human personal development and the whole leadership consulting business for over 40 years. And in that particular time, my experience with people was that everyone leaves a mark. Now, you know, no matter whether that mark is a positive mark or a negative mark, but everyone does leave, leave a mark. And uh, I realized that most people would love to leave a positive mark, but they don't necessarily have, know how to do that or have the process for doing that. So I, I realized that perhaps there was potential in out of my experience to be able to put that down, to share that with people. Uh, and so that's what inspired the book in itself, to help people understand that leaving a mark was something that at the end of their lives, for example, they would want to feel that their lives had mattered, that they'd left a mark. Well, the best way to start doing that is to start doing it now. And, and start leaving your mark every day, but make sure it's a positive mark. So what advice do you have for us that are trying to figure out what our mark is? Because everybody else's is different. Yeah, well, well I, I think what's important is that uh, you don't set out a, as a, to make a mark as a goal. Uh, it's a result. And it's a result of how you live your life every day. Uh, and so, uh, for example, if you look at people who've left a mark on your life or leave uh, right now influencing your life in a very positive way, you find out uh, several things about them. Number one, that they are purposeful. Uh, they seem to know what they're about and why they go about every day doing what they do. So they have clarity around that. So they wake up in the morning and uh, they have then a sense of direction. Uh, uh, and so that's another part of the mark. People seem to be going somewhere, to have a vision, to have goals for their life. Uh, and then the, the third part about it is that they have a perspective of the world that they're here to contribute, if you like, uh, to making the world somewhat better than it is today. And they, have a, they need to play a part in that. I, I quote Buckminster Fuller, the inventor and uh, author, who said, on Spaceship Earth, there are no passengers, only crew. So the person that leaves his or her mark is someone who understands that and wants to be a part of the crew. So how do you think your mark's being made so far? I think pretty good. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I, I hope it is. Um, uh, I'm on to my sixth book right now, which will come out in about a year's time. Uh, and uh, I'm endeavoring to be as aware as possible of, of what happens every day as I come into contact with people and relate to people. Obviously, um, being with you today is a wonderful way to reach a lot of people and to ensure that uh, they get some insights and help create their own level of self-awareness. But at the same time, uh, you know, I have a family of my own. I have five children, four daughters uh, grand, uh, and a son and, and grandchildren. And so even in those interactions every day, we are leaving a mark is how do I deal with them? Uh, how do I respond to them? How do they feel loved? How do they feel cared for? Uh, how do I support them? So even in the, the smallest interactions, we leave a mark. You actually have seen, spoke, influenced hundreds and probably thousands of people uh, across the world. 
What do you think is the best piece of advice that you have received that you've now passed on to your followers? I, I would suggest it's to understand very clearly how the world works. And what I mean by that is this, is that when, when you look at how people become successful, how you look at way, say, companies become successful, uh, they all uh, uh, apply themselves to what I call the principle of contribution. Everything is about contribution. A and so, for example, in your own relationships, uh, the friends in your life that mean the most to you are the friends that contribute to your life. Uh, you know, uh, 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 as they say, a friend is someone knows all about you, but loves you just the same. Uh, and so, uh, but if you look at uh, someone building a career, what companies are looking for is not to give somebody a job. They're looking for someone who will contribute to their success. Uh, if, if someone's in an organization and they have admiration for a leader, it's because that leader uh, is someone who empowers them, inspires them, who sees the very best in them. So therefore, who contributes in their life in a positive way. So if you understand the principle of contribution, and that's how it works, then what happens is that you focus on that uh, in your work, in your career, and in your relationship. So there's no better piece of advice than, than that I can give anybody. That seems a lot like teamwork and actually being able to, you have your strengths, I have mine, and we can team up together to really bring something great to this world. Well, you know, that's the, that's the definition of, of, for example, of collaboration. Uh, collaboration is different from cooperation. Uh, collabor collaboration is where the value of each person's uh, contribution is respected and and valued and and so it's a team that knows that each person has different strengths and weaknesses so for example um uh, a team that blends uh harmoniously a whole lot of uh strengths if you move those people into different positions right the, the round peg in a square hole right or the square peg in a round hole you get a team of weaknesses so it's a matter of understanding where to position those strengths. One, one of the best examples I can give you of teamwork is to think about the wonderful uh, iconic basketballer Michael Jordan. You know, now if you look at the uh, that uh, his career uh, uh, movement, you'll notice that in the beginning of his career, he was an independent star. He was the guy playing for the Chicago Bulls, absolutely killing them with a the number of points he would get but the Bulls were not winning championships and what did they discover they discovered that when the uh, Chicago Bulls started to put together one championship after another there was one statistic that went up that changed the game and that was Michael Jordan's assist statistics when he started to bring his teammates into it and and um uh, and pass the ball to them and give them opportunities now the whole team was 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 the focus uh of the work not that he wasn't still a star but but the reality was everybody's strength started to come into play i think that really mapped it out for me thank you <laughs> my pleasure Re really great analogies the, somewhere <laughs> where i can actually understand so thanks <laughs> So, David, you are also a speaker and you have spoken all over the world. Um, how can others be a thoughtful leader and a thoughtful speaker? Well, there's a, there's a couple of uh, things that are very important there. And that one of them is to uh, have something to talk about. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's to, do, it's to develop a level of expertise in a specific area uh, and that expertise being something <laughs> the world might want. Uh, and then to become a speaker, a good speaker, uh, there is only one word you need to know, and that is speak. In other words, you have to get out there and speak. And if you're at the beginning stage of a speaking career, you speak wherever you can, because what you're doing is that you're developing your craft uh, and, and, and finding out what's working and what isn't working. 
So there's two there's two two levels to that: having something worthwhile talking about, and then going out there and speaking and speaking well. And yes, there's a lot of people who say, "Oh, I'm you know I'm pretty good in front of an audience." Well, they may be okay in their own minds, but to become a truly great as a speaker, that requires practice, like anything else in life that you want to be good at. You got to practice it. So, if somebody listening right now wants to hire you as a speaker,、um, right. can we do that? Well, they they can.、Um, it depends on what their budget is, of course. <laughs>、uh, you know, I've been a pres- professional speaker for a long time now.、Um, uh, but when I say that, I don't want to be arrogant about that because there are also groups like not for profits who I'm a true believer in giving back, and and I'm very willing to to work with them and help them、uh, because they are doing a wonderful.、Uh, Making a wonderful contribution to the world, and so I love to support them. And if I can provide a level of expertise and some development and motivation and inspiration, I'm very happy to do that for sure. Have any of your speaking engagements or events inspired any books? For,、um, of my books? Yeah.、Uh, well, yes. I think、uh, you know. Again, every every time you speak, you get. Feedback and what happens is that you learn what is relevant. So,、uh, because what may be relevant to you may be not as relevant to one of the people that work with you. So, over the years, you you get feedback from people, and they they tell you, "Oh my God, I'd love to learn more about that," or "Why don't you write a book about that?" You know, for for example, you know. Uh, obviously, looking at me, you know, I'm into the later stages of my life. You know, life is certainly not over. But the book I'm writing about right now is for those people who、uh, are in my generation.、Uh, they're, they're, you know, the, the, the senior citizens of the world. I like to call them the chronologically gifted of the world, right? Um, but、uh, these—I <laughs> like that one. <laughs> but these are the people who uh, uh, someone, some people want to put out to pasture.、Uh, at the same time,、uh, we have a lot to contribute,、uh, and because we have a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom, so my new book is focused on that audience uh, and uh, endeavoring to help them say, "Yeah, I still got a lot of living to do." You know what? What you know? What can I do now? And I, I love share. You know the the, the personality share. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. You know,、uh, as someone said to her,、um, uh, "Don't you think you're too old to sing rock and roll?" And she said, "Well, why don't you ask Mick Jagger?"、Uh, so it was a tongue in cheek of why pick me out? And hey, he's nearly eighty, and he's still you know、uh, rocking and rolling all over the world. So that's an attitudinal thing. That's you know it's how you approach life. So at davidnally dot com, you can check out his book there, Mark of an Eagle: How Your Life Changes the World. Again, davidnally dot com. That's D A V I D M C N A L L Y dot com. You can also check him out on Twitter at McNally Inspires, as well as Facebook dot com slash David McNally Inspires, and on Instagram. At McNally Inspires, David McNally, the author of *Mark of an Ego*. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I'm inspired to make my mark or continue、pleasure. continuing to my make、pleasure. my mark on the world. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for inviting me. Anytime. Okay. Bye bye now. So that's a wrap on another episode of the Brand Ambassador Select podcast. I'm your host Lenore. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss one. More at brandambassadorselect.com, and we will see you next time.